you who have come here tonight to share your love, your hope, your anger, and to show your solidarity. And hope that events like Sunday will be nothing more than an event taught in history class to children to educate them just how pathetic we were. It sends messages to those out there in the world who stand against us. Yes, you can wound us, but like all wounds, they heal. Yes, you can take our lives, but we will live on forever in the hearts of those who we love. And yes, you can hurt us, but we are one. We are family. We are love. You who hurt us only bring us closer together. You make us stronger and make us better as a community. You make us powerful. Together we stand. United we overcome. We are one world. We are one love. Uh, boys and girls, you know, we've got all families, friends, members of the LGBTI community here, straight allies. It's, do you know what, I did not prepare any words today. What, what can you prepare for moments like this? What can you say for moments like this? I, I feel so much grief right now. I feel so much anger. I feel, do you know what? I also feel proud when I look, I'm looking out now and seeing how proud we are as an LGBTI community. We've come so far in the last 25 years. And if you think that some prick is going to stop us loving and being proud of ourselves, but these bodies have got names. These bodies are people. And I am going to read out now everybody. <laughs> Oscar, 26. Rodolfo, 33 years old. Antonio, 29. Daryl, 29 years old. Angel, 28 years old. Juan, 25. Lewis, 39. Corey, 21 years old. Tevin, 25. Dionca, 32 years old. Simon, 31. Leroy, 25 years old. Mercedes, 26. Peter, 22 years old. Juan, 22 years old. Paul, 41. Frank, 27 years old. Miguel, 30. Javier, 40 years old. Jason, 19. Eddie, 30 years old. Anthony, 25. Christopher, 32. Alejandro, 21. Brenda, 49 years old. Gilberto, 25. Kimberly, 37. Akira, 18 years old. Lewis, 20. Geraldo, 25 years old. Eric, 36. 
Joel, 32 years old. Juan, 35. Enrique, 25 years old. Juan, 27. Xavier, 35 years old. Christopher, 24. Il Mary, 24 years old. Edward, 34 years old. Shane, 33. Martin, 33 years old. Jonathan, 24. Juan, 37 years old. Lewis, 22. Frankie, 50 years old. Lewis, 37. Gerald, 31 years old. Please remember in your praise. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. So regardless of who they are and those names, their, their names, we don't know the people themselves, but they were taken from a space where they went to love, to dance, to drink, to make merry, and to have fun, where they felt that they would be safe. They were deliberately targeted for who they were. And it's worth us remembering that LGBT people have been targeted for who they are for a long time. We've been attacked, we've been sexually assaulted, we've been harassed, we've been bullied, We've been called names, offered cruel jibes. This has always been our lot. Things might be better, but there's still rampant homophobia and transphobia out there. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. Thank you for hearing my words. It's truly breaking right now following Sunday's horrific events in Orlando, Florida. It's breaking not just for the 49 plus LGBT people who have already died simply because they fancied a night out, listening to good music amongst like-minded people, but also for their families who are now facing grief I can't even begin to imagine. It's breaking not just for those currently in critical condition in hospital, but for the young people growing up queer and thinking that this is what lies ahead for them as well as the older generation who lived through it all time and time again, from the Stonewall Riots to Section 28, and in, even the ongoing ridiculous bathroom debate in South Carolina. Like all terrorist atrocities, this one had a clear message. As I, along with the rest of the world, read through the updates on Sunday morning, the subtext ran through loud and clear. There are people in this world who hate you enough to murder you in the place that you thought you were the most safe. If your idea of being your best queer self involves flying the rainbow flag above your front door, then you fly that flag as high as you can. You put an I will survive nice and loud and you dance in your living rooms. You make sure everyone sees you and knows you're making no apologies for who you are. They can bully us, they can deride us, and yes, they can come into our space and do their worst, but they will not, they will not silence us. Thank you.
drag queens started the gay liberation movement, so that would be quite fitting. But I think you, as a gay man, without the war paint, this is Dan standing up for his rights, and not Rory. So here I am. On Sunday, 49 people lost their lives in the worst mass shooting in US history. On Sunday, 49 people lost their lives in the worst targeted mass killing of LGBT people in the Western world since the Holocaust. On Sunday, we realized that our community, it was our community that had been targeted. On Sunday, we became Orlando. The majority of us didn't know these people directly. Our hearts most sincerely go out to those that did. But one thing's for sure, they were our people. People just like us, people who wanted to have a good time in a safe space and go home peacefully. They weren't afforded that luxury at the hands of evil. We remember those 49 people tonight and the many more who were injured, their families and their friends at this horrifically dark time. Stop. Enough is enough. No more terrorism, no more violence, no more homophobia, no more biphobia, no more transphobia. Enough is enough. And we fought for long enough, and if there's one thing this community is good at, it's fighting for its rights and standing up for them. We will not be beaten. Yeah, yeah. Our tears are real, our frustrations are real, and I know from my point of view, my utter co incomprehension at these events is very real. But, and this might sound a bit stupid, but try and save a few tears amongst the sadness to shed a couple of what I call happy tears for the glimmer of light that has come out of this, the amazing scenes around the world of solidarity and togetherness, and not least this one in front of me tonight. The one thing that we should take from this is love. A love that can't be silenced by ignorance or hate or even gunshots. A love that is, my sincerest hope, will continue to flourish in our community and all over the world because as often been said, love will win. <laughs>